Well, hey, fish heads, what is going on? Jen Cravasi, welcome to your Monday. Welcome to the top of the work week. If you start your work week on Monday, I don't. I'm usually working week round, although I did have a really awesome day off this past Thursday. Spent it with some friends on Crooked Creek. You guys have probably seen some of the footage from that already. I tried to get it up as quick as I could because it was really cool. Um, had some fun fishing, got a lot of exploration in, took some pictures, and uh, got some really neat underwater footage. So I'm really happy and thankful that we all did that. I want to go back as soon as I can. In the meantime, I've got, this is all one order right here that I'm going to concentrate on today, and it's enough pieces where I'm just going to do this order right here, and then tomorrow we're going to do a couple other orders. Um, most of those are big swim baits. So, but today, this is all for Calvin, and I've put a few of these pictures up on Facebook. Um, this one, I think, made it to Instagram as well. We'll kick it off with this one. This is a Chase Baits USA Frill Seeker. Frill like thrill, but with an F-R instead of a T-H-R. This is one of their lizard patterns. And I've already rehooked this. Calvin sent this to me to get repainted. So I've got some 3D stuff going on with this. Now it does come molded like that, but you can really enhance that if you do proper shading. Obviously the eyes are all hand done. Gives the illusion. There's even a, I did a little pupil on there as well. There's the other side of it and the belly. So I did a traditional salamander color almost iguana but um, more of a salamander and then I'll show you the other side here and they come with actually two tails and then also which is not attached and it was not attached when I got it I think he left that off for me Calvin left uh, just let me know because it wasn't in the bag there's usually a collar that almost looks like a jig dressing that little skirt that goes around the neck which kind of pops out fluffs when it's in the water really cool little wake bait swim bait multi-jointed lots of fun to paint he also sent me a lucky craft this is the pilot for repainting he asked for specific colors I've got some bags back here um, he indicated what he wanted on this one he wanted a crappie just a real light colored crappie. And those are the stock original eyes on this as well. And then he sent me two of the, um, the normal S pressings. You can pick these up. Amazon, Cedar Run, there's a lot of places here in the States that carry them. Schultz carries them. Um, they do not have all the intricate detailing on the gill plates that the Dinger version of it has. They are weighted just a little bit lighter. Um, for the most part, they're pretty good swimmers though. So on this, he asked for two crawl patterns. So I have one in a very light green, like a mint green that runs into a blue and all of this is in a, a natural there's no black anywhere on this bait not even in the undersides I did I put a very deep maroon and uh, black detail magenta on the underside of the meshing and you can see some of that kind of coming through right here which really just enhances the pattern all together and put some very cool reflective eyes on that and then on the other one I base coated white and then fluorescence blues and greens just to really play off the yellow browns and uh, fluorescent orange that I wanted to put on the main part of this and then if you're looking at these eyes, these are from Jetson. Jetson's got some really good lure eyes as well. 
this is those two. These are those two. Try and make sure I'm speaking proper English for y'all this morning. Yes, y'all's in the dictionary, so I can say y'all. I'm in Arkansas. I get to say y'all and mean it. Ah, the last wake bait I have in stock. I am officially back ordered. I'm waiting for a shipment of, and I don't care which shows up first. I've got circuit board lips coming and these coming, but they are all back ordered. Thank you so much, COVID-19, for your wonderful year. I'm going to keep saying that until everything gets straightened out because now, finally, people are starting to recognize that there are issues with mail and shipping and everything else. And the people that were naysayers and were blaming all the small businesses for the hiccups are now finally starting to see that, hey, it wasn't us. And it still is not us. Um, things are tragically flawed all the way across the board as, as far as shipping goes. Uh, even two day and here's I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rant for a second because it drives me crazy and as a small business or even a not so small business when you pay good hard earned money for two day priority shipping and it gets here seven days later something is wrong so do we have a course of action we can take can we request refunds because they're not shipping it to us um, or should they just do away with priority altogether? Because this stuff is not getting to us on time. I'm waiting on a couple of fairly large shipments that should have been priority and they should have gotten here days ago and they just didn't. So folks, I know y'all are in the same boat with me if you're a small business. This is the Opati Shad. And you know, I really, I don't give it enough credit. And I think at one point I was considering taking it off the website because it's pretty seasonal you know, for St. Patrick's Day, and it is the traditional Irish colors, the green, the orange, the whites, and the pink. Um, but it's a cool shad. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave this on there because it does get ordered. Obviously, it got ordered uh, not on St. Patrick's Day because we're in the middle of August now. But this is that. Fun, fun, fun. couple of other specialty craws and again this is all one orders for Calvin Hopkins you guys love these Hornets they are so much fun to make they take a little bit a lot of stenciling involved and making sure that it looks like it's supposed to look I hand cut the uh, the legs out and I really I like the way the legs turned out on this particular one and it's, if you are doing stuff like this and you want to put insect legs on your baits, follow that median line and try and base them off of that because the legs in real life would stick up off of the middle of the bait or the insect, as it were. The winter green in a holographic. Natural trout pattern. Rainbow, obviously. Specialty gill. Also, if you notice, it, you can probably see it flashing a little bit on a holographic. And these are those Schultz blanks. They come standard, which is just the ABS plastic, clear plastic. And they come pre-foiled. And this is, it's a beautiful foil too really like that and on the fat belly so he did a couple of, of requests and the one of the neatest things about this and again it's a little bit more time consuming and we try and get a little bit more detailing in here um, I love the way the gill plate is designed on these baits and I, I cut stencils out so that I can properly put that curved line on the gill plate in when I'm doing the shading around the gill also requested a uh, coral snake, an eastern coral snake, and the way in real life to tell coral snake from others that might be venomous is yellow, black, yellow, yellow, red, yellow. There's always yellow surrounding the red and black on both sides of it. And if I can get this 
up close enough you can see those beautiful reptilian eyes also from Jetson I'm expecting um, hopefully soon in the next couple of weeks or so uh, shipment from my first shipment from dead meat and uh, he's I'm gonna be doing some bigger stuff here um, in just a little while and I do from time to time and I hate I don't hate it if they're not the worst eyes, but a lot of the stuff that you get online that are just basic quick cookie cutter eyes, um, they don't hold up and they're not light fast and they just, I would prefer to use the two people in the United States. And Matt is known for his very large eyes. I know John does those as well. Um, I know that they don't feel like they're competing against one another. There's only two of them that do this on the level that they do it here in the States. So it's, it's well worth the money to spend, and I know that I, I harp on that, but please support small business when you can. These folks are going through, not everybody, but for the most part, if you can find a way to support them, um, help them get through difficult times, such as we're having in the States and across the, the globe, really, then uh, by all means, help them out. And you're going to get some phenomenal product from it as well. So this is that Northern Gill. And then you guys have seen the bull shad in the background. This is that um, baby bull shad, the 3.75 or three and a quarter. It's got the brush tail, it's the ABS plastic. And this is the gill pattern that he requested. And then last but certainly not least, the dirty rat or the rat runner this is the specialty line on uh, on the website and yes yes it does catch and it is especially exciting because a lot of the times the tail will be on by itself with um, you'll get short strikes but this really does help and um, I've been doing it for a while now with Tremendous success, lots of testing, lots of people are loving this. And this is the bloody version. Just a little bit of blood trailing from the eye and the nose area. And folks, that is all the news that's fit to print this morning. Calvin Hopkins, order up. I'm glad that I was able to feature it, and it was certainly enough that we can just capitalize on just this order for this particular update. Lots more to come. I'm going to do a couple more of these. This, man, this is cool. Chase Bates. Love your stuff. Um, yeah. Lots more to come this week. Got a couple of spray sessions coming out. I have lots more product to feature for you guys. A couple of orders. McClanahan should be the next one. I'm trying I'm doing a lot of these shoots in the same morning, but I have to break them up. So after I finish this, then we shoot the next one and it'll be a scheduled upload. So you can expect a lot of cool stuff this week. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Cheers, happy casting, and I will see you on the next video.